it's just been a it's been a rough few days here uh, for our whole community, not just our softball team, not just our athletic department. The loss of 25 year old Michaela Redinger is still fresh on the University of Northern Iowa campus. She graduated in 2016, but memories of her are still strong, according to UNI Assistant Athletic Director Jarek Walcott. Everybody talks about how sweet she was, how um, she drew everybody to her. She just had a smile that could light up the whole dome here. But they say she was also a heck of a softball player, leading the team in hits her senior season and making the Missouri Valley All-Conference second team twice. She just, she was a competitor. She was everything that you want in a student athlete. Redinger had been working in the Cedar Falls area. She left work with two other people early Sunday morning and was driving toward Waterloo on Highway 218. She was hit by what police say was most likely a bullet around her neck near a bridge over Brinker Lake. The person in her passenger seat was also hit. Redinger kept driving toward the next exit, but she later died from her injury. I've been here 29 years and this has never happened. Waterloo police say they believe this was a random shooting. We have no evidence to indicate that they were targeted. Uh, there's been no nothing that's come out that said that. Now they're having a hard time figuring out what happened. And this one is unique because it's on a highway. It's at 2.30 in the morning. There's not a lot of witnesses. There's not a lot of evidence. There's just not a lot there to, to work with. Meanwhile, UNI is also struggling with what Walcott calls a senseless act. If you work with enough students for long enough, you're going to have days like this. Nobody ever wants them. Nobody ever sees them coming, and it's, it's pretty hard, pretty frustrating.